I do not know. Okay. And for those who the name is not familiar, Mr. Krill um, has interests in mining in this place. Um, he's a bit of a bully. He, he's got a he's got a bully boy that works for him. who's a werewolf and and associated. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a naughty boy. A naughty werewolf. Well, no, the Mr. Krill he tends to use he's got like a bully boys that work for him and stuff and tends to use use violence and force to get his way in controlling his minds and people that um invade his domain that his name hasn't come up for quite a while so i don't know mm. yes a werewolf um John, could you drive uh, your family out with a whip or something? <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. No worries. So Peter Blaylock, so he may be an avenue to talk to. Um, any, Tom, any further questions from yourself? Nah, I don't have any. Okay. Uh, and what about you, good, you? Joshua? You have any questions? Yeah, I have a couple questions. Far away, sir. Right. The so, lawyer looks a bit nervous to be. You a said that you station. went to the train station, correct? The what? Train station? Who yes. went to the train station at Hobbs End? I did. Hobbs End station. Yes. Right. Question about that. Uh, when you went there, did you notice any people out of the ordinary? Uh, no. Did you notice uh, anyone having an argument? No. Did you notice anyone that seemed to be following you for a short bit of time, but maybe went another direction? He looks a bit confused. Uh, how would I tell if they were following me? Uh, you've never had that feeling that someone was following you? I should say you Saw not. them, but then they went away? No? Okay. Uh, and then when you were waiting there and the train left, was anyone else still standing around at that time, lingering around, either talking to someone else or holding a paper, perhaps, if you have those here? Ah, the, the, nobody was holding a broadsheet, but the train did not arrive or nor depart when I was there. There was no train? No. The one that was supposed to leave at 5 p.m.? Oh. I'm sorry, he cleans his glasses. Uh, yes. No, but no unusual people. But yes, okay. I'd get, so yeah, there I was see. nobody, as as, as um, Mr. Maddox has in asked, there was nobody left standing on the platform, which you would expect besides yourself. Right, correct. He yeah. keeps looking at uh, um, uh, Colburn's uh, pockets, you can see a corner of a sandwich <laughs> protruding out of uh, one of them where you would normally have the multicolored uh, 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 pocket uh, swatch. There's a sandwich yes. sticking out. <laughs> he right. seems flustered talking to him. All right. And the name of the uh, girl that was supposedly corresponding with the son uh is that name too scandalous to hand us uh no i am not aware of the name sir um sorry so the father has not given you information about those letters at all no mr blaylock potentially will know that when we go into okay. the chat hopefully here. Yep, I'm yeah, good. We may, oh, or we may find some correspondence in Arthur's rooms relating to it. Yes. Um, uh, when you, um, who, who went to Arthur's rooms? Ah, uh, well, um, the guard. Uh, Arthur lives in a very reputable lodging house, but apparently there was some kind of disturbance on the night he disappeared, which left his rooms in disorder. It was reported by the uh, to the guard by the t caretakers who live on premises, and apparently one of the other tenants, a man named Borelli, 
Uh, however, the guard found no sure evidence of a crime having been committed, nor of, indeed of where Arthur went. The guardsman in charge of the case is Lieutenant Bridger. I see. So my thing would be the guy who's seen this disturbance. Did he maybe talk to him? Maybe if you seen anybody, show some pictures that, of yep. some yep, of the yep. associates and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Is there any other questions that I may be of I, assistance with? I, I think I'm, I don't have anything. What of your cells, Tom and Colburn? Do you have a okay. lunchbox for him? I, Ooh, that oh. would be fantastic. Do you have a uh, bag? <laughs> uh, no, he says. Uh, Why don't you use your hanky? No, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll I use the um, the uh, napkins. I we do have food at the embassy. He, he looks oh, so yeah. scandalized that he looks like he's ready to either cry or flee. We we do have food at the embassy. My guy does currently look a little emaciated. Ah, that's lovely. Uh, I will be your only point of contact. He glances. Of course. Her. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, well, uh, then I shall uh, leave you to it. Mm, yes. Thank you. I he enjoyed you. Scuttles toward the door. All right. As soon uh, as he leaves. Mm -hmm. As soon as he leaves, like the door closes, he's out of the room. I look at Joshua. So you're an ambassador in this area. You know of these people pretty well. Not the really. Door. The guy who uh, led you in, the hard bar guy, comes in and he goes, this way, gentlemen. Thank you. Your carriage is waiting. Thank you. I wait. Let's I go to the up. carriage before I ask this. Yes. <laughs> yes. You guys get back in the uh, carriage and stuff. The footman uh, assist you into it. And... Yes. Uh, Collecting McKay. our hats and gloves, etc. Yes. Uh, and then you guys are now traveling, so you're you're in relative we'll, privacy. We will, uh, we will initially go back to the embassy as I need to get a bag. Yes, maybe more than one. <laughs> um, so, questions, Joshua? Far, yeah, far away. Uh, one, I uh, traditionally like to carry a couple tools on me. Yes. Such I as also that. like to uh, have money of the area I'm in. If you could provide any of that, that would be helpful on amazing levels. Yes, um, yes, yes. We and have uh, the party. people I've seen around uh, with the animal heads. Yes. Uh, I'm guessing frowned upon to kill them? They are the, lo they are the locals. These are Treat the locals. Okay. Yes. So these people hunt small humans what what's the setup no, no. here what's H humans you heard, humans you heard the guy on top the driver go hmm? <laughs> <laughs> um all right so what's the hierarchy the um the, these are the i think think um robin hood and you know disney's robin hood with the foxes and all that sort of stuff and okay right <laughs> that that's pretty much what that's so much if the, you eat one well, no, it still tastes no. like the proverbial animal it comes from. No. Ah, ah just checking. So the, re but, the reason I, all right, so the reason no, I was asking we about. Have lost, we have lost our friend. Okay. So and the reason team. why I was asking about the parentage is that offspring, in that they can have interracial marriages, as in like a a leopard could be with a. Walrus. A, gira a walrus, exactly. And um, the offspring will take after either the, the mother or the father. All right, it's so the like dominant weird... gene, got it. Yeah. So, but but yes, they can interbreed. Traditional society standards, yes. uh, uh, there's law? A, yeah, yeah, laws. It's like 19th century, except they're from a kingdom. So they're hence the baronies and stuff. Think Think more like England as opposed to a democracy there's like a right. governor here there's like a governor here and stuff and hence the baronet we were visiting and that sort of stuff okay all right all right um from from our from our looking into this place 
from a biological perspective, this is impossible. So we don't know how this came about. <laughs> <laughs> it, we don't know how this world came about. This, it, this is impossible. <laughs> yes, right. yes, right. yes, 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 sure. yes. <laughs> Right. I know the whole traveling between worlds, etc. But from a, a lot of the place, yeah, yes, yes, the whole thing right. like you could potentially encounter with Burlington being a very small zone and okay. time looping there on every Friday, etc. The various things, and I, you potentially, if you went to Smurf, you potentially pass through a Canadian. Don't talk about Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> you potentially pass through a land which were there, which were women. A women's wild west type situation yes yes there yes, yes. i've been yes. there that yes. was bad times yeah those they, those women are all dead they invaded burlington and we dealt with them wait but okay what the name of the other place you're saying Bo Bowington? burlington burlington did yes, burlington -R have L -I -N -G. a cafe yes where everyone was really nice Yes, at Burlington's like a 1950s sitcom. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, right. Did that ring a bell? That's kind of where I think I woke I, I, I Yeah, you may have woken just... up there. Yeah, yeah, where yes. you, that was your first place, yeah. So depending on some of, some of us, and I use us in regards to our particular group that we feel connections to. Sure, such, sure. Such as you feel with us, we feel with you. Mm -hmm. um, some mm -hmm. of us when we came when we first came to these worlds were in burlington some of right. us were in another world which was a modern day san angeles like uh 2020 san angeles um, okay like, I, myself was 2020 san angeles but i'm i'm aware from talking to others about them beginning in burlington wait so you're all right so you're from california well, yeah. no, I, I I woke up in I woke up in California. I'm actually from Australia, and ah, I used okay. to work in New York for sure. a detect for a detective agency, KBC. Okay. I've got Never bad memories of. of. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yes. So, um, got it. So your background, yes, is investigations. That's, right. That's what you did for a living. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. Now I, I've got a good grasp on who you are. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, but I'm used to modern techniques and 19th century techniques due to insanities that befell me. <laughs> okay. Sure. Some. If you if you see if you hear people referring to Sherlock Holmes, they're referring to me. Because that was my nickname in the KBC. Got and it. People, and some people still refer to me as Holmes. And I became Holmes. Really hard to shake a name like that, I suppose. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I became Sherlock Holmes. All right, fair enough. Um, due, due to the fact everybody called me that, so I eventually became Sherlock Holmes. And he's gone. Boop. Right. Yep. Um. So yes, so just a couple of quick things while we wait for mm -hmm. Tommy to wake up. Right. So something you probably weren't familiar with is um, there's a barber shop called Clem's, which exists in a lot of the realms. Barber shop. Yes. Okay. A barber shop called Clem's. Barber yeah. Clem's. Yeah. Oh, you're awake again, Tommy. Yeah. No, it's all good. Uh, yeah, there's a barber shop called Clem's. It doesn't exist in all locations that we've gone to, but it exists in many of them. the The barber shop is the barber shop is a way of traveling between the realms, but you can only use it to travel to places you've already been to. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, for example, you could use Clems to travel back to Burlington if you wish, because there's a there's a Clems in Burlington. Um, so basically, what you do is when you approach when you go to clems he'll say hi what can i do for you and you say i'd like a shave please and he's then he says hot towel and you say yes thank you or yes please or whatever and then he'll ask where are you going back to and then um you say you know burlington or beastkin san angeles or wherever and he'll put the hot towel over your face and then 
a clams on the new world will take the tail off and you'll be at that new like at that location got it okay so we have let me get these so locations it, down real quick so cool. besides besides using a gate that is another if because there's several of the worlds we're not sure where the gates are where the portals are so clems is a good way of traveling you know, there's books too right sorry books too right books, books. yes yes Yes, yes, the book um, in the Smurf Tower, in the in in what's his name's tower. Right, right. Okay, so there's there's Burlington, the place that won't be named. <laughs> no, fuck that. Never going there. Ignore that. All um, right. Um, the, uh, the sorry, I was just going to say some one other thing is that you will probably find you have two tarot cards in one of your pockets currently. Sandwich. Oh, there they are. <laughs> um, when when we gather all the tarot cards together and form a deck, the tarot cards' abilities become live, active. So we're trying to so we we are holding the cards that we're accumulating in a safe at the embassy until such time as we can get a new deck together. In which case, then the people get their tarot cards back. And the tarot cards, we've been making up a list of what they do. Um, and then it's up to you if you want to trade with other people or what you want to do with your, you know, that sort of stuff. Right. But the tarot cards only last for a while once they're activated. Out of game, they last till the end of the season, potentially. Or after a, or if we get them really early at the start of the season, they may last halfway through the season. Nice. If Logan decides for them to go bye-bye. So the name just help me out here real quick. It's Burlington. Okay. What was the cowboy place? Cowgirl uh, women's, place. women's Wild West is one of the things we call. Um, in the the section of there's two things that the bracelet gives you access to. One is a wiki, and the other one is the section of the board. Now, the gods have deemed that these are not hackable and that any information put in there will be used against us as the gods find the information useful as well. Sure. Um, oh, by the way, you have uh, two mayonnaise uh, covered cards. One is the King of Swords. The other is the Page of Cups. If you want to hand them to Holmes, he's keeping um, all of them until he activates them and gives them back or whatever. Or you can hoard them. Up to you. There you go. Give them both to him. All right. And uh, Colburn's cards. Yeah, so in the hidden section of the board that you now have access to, there's a link to a spreadsheet which has got all the cards listed and who's, ca who's got what cards. Got it. Um, got it, got it, got it. And the wiki, I'll just post you a link to the wiki, which has got a list of all the realms that we're aware of at this moment. Appreciate it. Uh, just the only say, realm just... I think I really care about at this point uh where is your uh the um where are we headed right now we're heading just following up the embassy and this embassy because i need to get it back now you were saying there's a couple of items that you like to have in your pockets what there we are sir thank you we'll go inside the guy uh the deer-headed guy glares at uh your companion as you get out and he says mm. You guys carry the, uh, or actually, no, he's disappeared out of the carriage. No telling where the other guy is. Yes, that that's one of the things we find that when we are not in these worlds, for example, when, from the time you were in Burlington or the Women's Wild West or the Smurf City, you cease to be. You're not asleep. You're not body. Your body's not lying asleep somewhere around comatose or something. You fade out of existence. Sure. Um. I've actually witnessed it happen to a couple of um, our groups in front of me, unfortunately. Oh, no, that's completely understandable by everything I've seen recently. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, sure. it's, it, there's a lot of crap to get your head around with this stuff. Oh, by sure, the way, sure. that's, that's the other thing we've discovered is that we're all cousins. From a DNA perspective, we are all cousins. Come again? From a DNA perspective, we are all cousins. Every member of our group are cousins. 
and all the refugees that can travel through gates, they are our cousins as well. The several hundred of them will probably, if we did, if we were to do DNA testing on them, they would come up as being our cousins. So we don't know if we were genetically modified by something or someone to be this way, or we're descended from, um, basically we're all descended from an, a, a single individual. Sure. As, as in, who is our grandparent. Now, whether or not that is from him screwing a lot of people as a, or if it's from someone actually doing genetic manipulation, we don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys are going through, there's a bunch of animal heavy people and a bunch of normal Did you say you're from 2020, roughly? Uh, 2024, 2020. I think, from is memory. He, how, uh, how good had they gotten uh, with medicine for waking up people in a coma? Just curious. <laughs> we, well, we get that one of the theories is that there are several theories as to what our situation is. One is that potentially we are in a coma. Um, we, yes, we. Yes, yes, yes. I, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. The fact that, yes, that you're the one in the coma and we're all figments of your imagination. I'm assuming that. However, then there are times when I am here and you are not. Uh, yes, as far as you know, correct. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, so we've we've had various theories, you know, whether or not we're some sort of clones of ourselves that have been abducted, that this is some sort of weird simulation, weird high tech MMO simulation, um, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. Right. Um, so hey, there's a cousin or a clone down there. Yes. The, 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 the reason the reason I'm saying I'm telling you about the fact that we're all cousins, including all the people that are here, right. is that because there's several hundred of them. So there right. may be some women or men. I don't know which way you lean um, that you may be attracted to. But oh, just warning you that they're you're your first trying to avoid that means. Three-headed step kids. <laughs> no, no. I, well, depending on where you're from, you may be you may be a bit upset if after you've had sex with someone, you find out that you've just had sex with your first cousin. Sure. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, um, could, could both of you guys reduce your hands back down to six. While I'd like it if John could play, I'm thinking his internet might be insufficient for it because. We've had the same frozen picture of him for a while now. Holy yes, shit. He's, he doesn't see, yes, he doesn't seem to be. I think he's dying. Yes, I think he is definitely dying. Um, let's get rid of the clue line. I sent him a message, so we'll see. Let's get, let's get rid of the nada. Normally, I just said, hey, don't, don't, you know, yeah, you're on yeah, shit. Yeah. Internet don't play, but he went out and bought headphones, and so yeah, you know yeah. he's gone out. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone out of his way to try and oh, yeah. get in on the game. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That that, well, that, um, that that goes a long way in Logan's book. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I have a play immediately. What's your no. play immediately? Um. Okay, so I have two of them. What? Which what, one's the worst oh, one? Well, oh, the worst one. Right. Well, well the good one would have been nice. But the worst one is is, uh, the gods uh, hate you. Okay, and what's the other one? Uh, The other one is group insta hero. The gods hate you. I've not been paying attention as these things have been coming into my pool, so toss everything. Yeah. Um, If you, I don't know if Logan explained to you, Tim, if you have, if you, when you're reducing your hand, you can actually trade cards with others. For if, if I say, for example, if I had dad cards and you hadn't got play immediately cards, you could say, hey, I'm going to get rid of this card, which I think is a good card. Do you want it? So we, we can do that before discarding. Right. Just as a aside. Um, so Colburn, have, are you familiar with... Two, four. So that was everyone discard? Was no, Mr. Guts despise you? Was, 
was it just you or was it everyone? I think it's just you from memory. God despise you. Yeah, it's just the just have okay. one. I'm just seeing if oh, I've got a refill. Draw. Anything that no, nah, I don't have any. Oh, right. it's the God despise you discard and refill. Is it? Yep. Lovely. Are you sure? Uh, Wait, I know it's a refill. Okay, yeah. If you got God's hate, then it's a refill. If you got God's despise, okay. it's not a refill. Let me try and find the card. Good insta hero. The gods hate you. Yep, there you go. Yep, yep. Discard all your cards, no trading, and refill your hand. Nice. Yeah. Got it. All right. Good deal. Well, let's see what John says. Um. So yes, is there any other information you would like to know that I can try and explain to you? Um, what are the laws on uh, weapons here? Um, I'm trying to remember if they have to be peace bonded here or not. Mm, um, no, you, but not not if you're an Australian. Normally, uh, most people don't carry weapons here uh, unless they're guards or something like that because. The furries are not a uh, really violent people normally. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, you said 1900s. People are dressed in all kinds of different mm -hmm. shit, right? 19th century. 19th century. So mid-1800s. So mid 1800s. 1800s. Like 1850s, yeah, 1850s, 1860s. Excellent. Uh, um, in that case, can I get a change of clothing? Yes, of course. Now, uh, the problem with this is that clothing is definitely in short supply within the yeah. uh, thing, and so anything he's given will probably be a bit patched and stuff. He'll definitely not look like the upper classes. Not that he's really pulling off no, that look well right now. No, no. I, I want to look like uh, the... Uh, I want to look like a guy who goes and cuts down trees and cuts wood for people. Bing. He's a lumberjack now. I want the axe to go with it. <laughs> I'm sure we can source you in. That's axe. easy. Um, yeah. Let He's me... now a lumberjack with a big two-handed lachabar axe type. Let thing. me Just let me check out. our storage uh, and see if we've actually got any decent axes in storage. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, let's what we got. Oh, hang on a second. Let me reduce the comms bracelets down by one. So. On in roll twenty, Tim, the second the tab where your characters are. Mm -hmm. um, below where the characters are, you've got um, there's price information, NPCs with hero points, and zone slash storage. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? So if you expand the zones plus zone slash storage, you've got different realms listed there. So if you go to Beastkin Lands and expand that. Beast You'll see Kin Lands. Beast. Yep, and click on the plus sign next to it, and that should then give you a drop down showing you um, several items. I see. Embassy, I money, magic. Yep, yep. Books. So if you if you click on the Australian Embassy dash storage, that shows you the various items we have collected and whether or not they're available for anyone's use or just somebody's use. Now, for example, uh, you'll note there's a fireman's axe in a trumpet case. That yes. Is, that under permissions, it says everyone. So, and it is from Burlington. So it's a 1950, so it, that, the reason we listed where it's from, it gives you an idea of the quality of the axe, basically. It's not like a 19th century axe. It's like mid-20th mid, mid 20th century quality steel head. Nice. All right. And it comes with a trumpet case for all your sandwiches. That's right. So you can <laughs> conceal it in the trumpet case and carry it around. <laughs> or, so, yes. or you can carry the axe in the trumpet case. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, as I said, there's other stuff in there as well, you'll note. Um, various things. I thought we had. Oh no, that's the cyberpunk one. 
Right. Okay. So now that my guy has this item. Yeah. So if you hit the, so it's a, it depends if you intend to hang on to it, remove it from here. Well, for if now. If you intend to return it, then don't worry about removing it. Right. So to remove it, if in there's an edit button at the top right corner. Um, edit. If you click on that, that'll bring up the list there, and you can go down and delete it from the list. So do you just grab the whole the whole line? Yep. All right. Just delete uh, the whole line. Let me make a note. Um, Ready, fire axe. Can you hear me, guys, or no? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, there's multiple views currently, but uh, we're... Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yes. Can you hear us? Friends. Oh, boy. Can you hear me, John? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yes, can you hear me? Yes. Wow, we can are you hear. coming? Did you just now... Can you hear me or no? Can you hear us? More important. Yes. I dropped again. Logan is typing. No, no, he's not dropped. He's still there. Oh, yeah, he's but he's, the, the when he gets the words is a yeah, long time be, when we talk. Yeah, there seems to be a delay. A huge delay. All right, guys, I, I, I think I gave it a good uh, faith effort here. I, I apologize. It's all good, dude. It's a pity that it's not quite working for you. I will see you guys, I think, next game. I'm gonna, I don't think, I don't think it's going to go. All right, John. You gave it a red hot shot, red hot go, but it... Right. Did not like you. All right. And save. Uh, let's see. Can I delete the field or no? No. Okay. So just save just changes after I pulled it out. Yeah. Yeah. Just save changes. and. Oh. Um, Feel bad for John. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He really gave it a good shot. Um, so do I understand it correctly? He's in a camper in the middle yeah. of a camping area. Uh -huh. Yes. In the United States. Uh, yes. I, he lives in Pennsylvania. He's a cop in Pennsylvania. Him and his wife are cops in Pennsylvania. I didn't okay. know his wife was a cop also. Hmm. Yeah. yeah got that she's look. a cop as well. Yeah, she's a cop as well. Um, they, they go, yeah, summer camping with the kids, etc. I'm not exactly sure where he's gone camping. Okay. Cool. Middle of nowhere. Yeah, well, in a lot of the parts of the United States, the Wi-Fi is shit anyway, because capitalism... Even in cities, it's shit. Mm, true. I'm... Mm, we recently had places uh, push laws through to prevent counties from having their own internet. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. That would be, be anti-capitalist, wouldn't it? He... Well, no, it's, uh, it's the major the major uh, providers lobbied against places from having their own internet. Yeah. So places were like, hey, the internet here is shit. Let's make our own. And the companies mm -hmm. were like, fuck, we're going to lose a lot of money on that deal. He's in New Jersey. He's, cam he's camping in New Jersey. Oh, yeah, he's in the middle of nowhere. Looking at his um, posts on his Facebook as to where... Where he is currently? I do have a bit of good news. Uh, Chris is currently working on putting on clothes and putting on coffee. He should be joining us soon. Lovely. Hopefully he's not putting the coffee on himself. I didn't say which was going in the pot, but we shall see. <laughs> good deal. Lovely. Yeah. Um, while, while we're waiting for Chris, is there any other information that you would like me to throw at you? Uh, information, no. Um items whatever you can spare uh coin wise oh yes so i should um really yeah, nice I, I should introduce you to the people that pretty much run the embassy for me when i'm not here i have uh, my two children 
adopted children they are but ah okay not running the gamble got it <laughs> no no they were <laughs> elvish they're basically elvish kids that we found uh, in elves. the forest yes sure yes. why not <laughs> makes sense uh yeah that that's the other thing the beast kin really dislike elves and you keep them here at the embassy as the people they've they gone to they've gone they've we're trying to we're part, part of the i've been doing education programs and all sorts of stuff to try and oh that's okay break that's down good. the barriers there we um, go that makes sense we've now. got we've got tutors australian people australian the reason we're called australians is they've not said they did not Doc Fulton and myself were the first humans they encountered. Sure. Um, I love so that conversation it. too. What are you? I'm an Australian. Bring! That's the name <laughs> of your race. <laughs> yeah. So, so they they believe that all humans are Australian. Whoever, they they don't seem to they don't they don't seem to worry about the fact we have different accents and all Crikey. that sort of stuff. They just. <laughs> <laughs> hence the Australian embassy, hence I'm the Australian ambassador, blah, blah, blah. And I also did some stuff to set up some industry here for to to get money to come in for us, as in us being our group. Uh, that's, now, that's wonderful. And now Which, instead it's several hundred refugees that you're footing the bill for. Yes, yes, we have several, and yes, several hundred refugees. Now, I, I, will, I would like to point out, though, the refugees are not sitting idle. Uh, no. The embassy is going through a uh, new renaissance of building and shit like that. Uh, they've got parties that go out and get stuff. So, uh, plus, there's a lot of uh, different kind of crafting, painting, and stuff. It, the, this will become the kind of place that you know, in a couple hundred years, tourists would come to. You know, to see all the mm -hmm. different stuff. Interesting. Uh, bring mm -hmm. me up to speed. Uh, the chat about people don't exist when they're not there. Yes. You notice uh, the one guy's missing. Hmm. Yeah, and you notice how Tommy has disappeared completely. He was with us, and he suddenly vanished. Um, you're lucky you didn't see. He just wasn't you're, you're, you're lucky you did not witness him fade away, as it's a bit disturbing. I've witnessed people fade away in front of me. It's a bit disturbing, unfortunately. Fading away is a disturbing yes. thing you have witnessed. <laughs> it, I, I mean, I've witnessed a lot more disturbing things, but I'm just. <laughs> Just the thing about somebody fading away from existence is. Did you watch brain. any movies in 2020? Fading away is not the worst thing that's happened. Yes, I know. I know. There's plenty of things that look horrible in movies. It's one thing seeing something. Wait, on the wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is it fading away like they did in the Avengers? Uh, wait, no, they didn't turn. To, they didn't turn to dust, and they did not turn to dust, and that sort of stuff. Ah, okay. As in, they actually went. It was almost like somebody teleports away or something. They just slowly go. More Star Trek. No, no, not more. Uh, teleports probably not quite. Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, I can't remember Back to the Future. It's been been a long time. Actually, just slowly vanishes away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably something like that. Oh, where okay. Reality, okay. Where reality changes and they slowly vanish away. Sure. So all things, I would know in my head. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> tell me all right. have all right tell me are you familiar with amber amber yes i dated an amber um uh, roger zelazny nine princes of amber doesn't ring a bell maybe it's a book my dad read me when i was a kid <laughs> <laughs> anyway so <laughs> We we are uh, amberites. So you're Australian amberites. <laughs> no, we, as in you, myself. So we're we, we part, Australian part amberite cousins. <laughs> the strange <laughs> thing, I know that's crazy and crazy. The the thing about us being Australian is just what these people here believe. Because. Right. Because yeah, I was the first myself and Doc were the few humans they met. So, as far as you know, got it. All right, we're up to speed. <laughs> All right. Uh, so was so it? Oh, you mentioned elves, 
Right. Yes, yes. So I'll introduce uh, you to Alana children. and Legolas Elwin. Legolas and what's the other one's name? No. 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 <laughs> no. Alana and Elwin. <laughs> right. Okay. Two two uh, 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 elves are brought to you. Uh, um, one of them's got a. Or how are they brought to us? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Um, uh, they 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 come in. They're they're dressed similarly. They have like a lot of Australian. Uh, they have the Australian flag logos on their tunics and stuff. They're obviously brother and sister. Uh, uh, although she has a baby, so you're not yeah. just sure how far this whole inbreeding thing is going. Um, who appears to be a elf, kinda, and. Um, uh yeah they they come in and meet you and it's like hello i'm alana this is owen they're like hello so yes sorry right lord of the rings looking to you oh did they like kind of fucking glide across the floor <laughs> they, they do they do seem to have quite a bit of uh dex uh coordination sure yeah sure right um yeah you guys Hi. <laughs> but yes, they they tend to run the embassy. Congrats on being adopted by a really well off guy. <laughs> he's been a he's been a good father, although he's his work has usually kept him away. His work, of course, being to save the universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> And, uh, um, so, what are all these ripped up, crumpled up sandwiches here? Do you want new food? Uh, actually, uh, that's something else. Uh, can I get a uh, like a backpack? That sounds magical. Backpack would be good. Do they have those now? Uh, they yes, we'll bring you a leather backpack. Would you like anything in it, or are you going to use it just for these sandwiches? Uh, no, if you could uh, put some. Basic tools would be good. Uh, a what compass would of, be nice. Uh, jerky. Jerky would be great. And you bottled tools water. Made out of jerky? So you're the bright one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, 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 they have a wicked sense of humor. They uh -huh. are messing with you. Got it. Right. Aha. 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 They, they, one, one of the people, one of the people educating him was a foul talking bird. Sure. <laughs> I do miss Ahoy. Yes. He never did teach you air magic. No, sure. he did not the bastard. But we have him nailed to his perch so you can yell mm -hmm. at him anytime you want, Dad. That's right. And Dr. Fulton never did cure him of his fear of outdoors well yeah so mm -hmm. um right what sort of tools would you like uh tools for working on uh smaller electronics and tools for working on i don't know a vehicle they don't have vehicles now and they don't have electronics they don't have <laughs> electronics 18 <laughs> think well think wild west 1850s wild west would you like a wrench and a hammer and a screwdriver Yes, and a crowbar. All right. They glide off. Um, those sort of tools do exist, obviously, because we've got access to other realms, and some of the people here may have said tools here. Like uh, Aeolus probably has got those sort of tools. I'm going to need some nails. I'm sure they have nails. Yes. They've already glided, need... glided off, I'm afraid. What, what do you need nails for? You never know. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, so depending on how things go here, we can always take you to somewhere else to try and get some more modern gear. Um, no worries. When you when, when you were in, I don't know if you re can recall when you were in any of the other places. Did you do anything that caused the men in black to turn up? Excuse me. All right, so each each of these realms has a certain set of paradigm. For example, like this is 1850s, later 1850s. If you were to whip out a 
something modern, what we would consider modern technology here, that causes people to go into a weird state where they'll stop, they'll just stand there and start blinking. This causes the the right. realms almost, I'd almost say antibodies, that um, what we refer to as the men in black to turn up to try so, and stop the stop the whatever is breaking the reality. So if this isn't a coma, and it yes. Is, if it's yeah. not, yes, uh, that would lead me to believe that it's more like the video game theory that one of you or your friends, cousins, Amberites mm -hmm. came up with. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because that's a that's a bug in the system situation. Exactly, that causing that the other non-players to have issues. Exactly, in which case they then or antivirus comes in. Yes, got exactly. it. Right. First, right. first it's two, then it's four, then it's eight, then it's sixteen. So if you kill the first two, then four turn up. If you kill those four, then eight turn up. If you kill those eight, sixteen turn up, etc. Someone played a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Got it. And until they overwhelm you. And sure. they they turn up with weapons and transportation that is appropriate to the realm. So, so it usually takes a whole bunch of them. God, it's got to really suck to be those first couple guys that get sent. Well, we don't tend to hang around when they turn up because it's not worth messing with them. Okay, All right, understandable. So um, play the game, be nice. Sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, um, a couple of days ago, Aeolus, who's one of the others of our group, he's also known, Alex Kinley calls him Freddy, yeah. and some of the others refer to him as Freddy. Um, we appeared in a forest that looked like it was like medieval times type thing from the way that people were dressed. Freddy pulled out a mid-21st century and translated device and put it on his ear. That caused the individuals to start blinking at us. We got the hell out of there quick smart. Got it. So, right. Use appropriate tech. Yeah. You can get away if you're careful. You can get away with it if you either disguise it or if you don't let people see it or if you can explain it away. So as long as the people who see it don't understand what it is or see it. Well, not necessarily. As I said, the people, the medieval people, they would have no idea what the, what his translator earpiece was. But the fact that it was different technology, it was advanced technology. Got it. I mean, they they could afford it was a piece of fruit he was putting on his ear if they were real medieval people. Got it. But the nature of these worlds is that it causes them to go into a error state or whatever. Sure. All right, I'm up to speed. So. Right. Just giving you a pre-warning, just be careful if you get high-tech stuff and decide to whip it out. No problems. I mean, low-tech stuff's always fine because, you know, it's low-tech compared to what the world you're in, but high-tech stuff can cause issues. I like to consider myself a rational person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, we Yeah, so one of the realms we go to is... Uh, cyber cyberpunky style. It's mid twenty first century. So if you get that, put it deep in in you. <laughs> Got it. So yeah. So just like if you get stuff from there, just be either get stuff that will blend in, that people will look at it and just think it's you know like I've got a couple of high tech blades from there, but they just look like blades to most people, so they're not going to react. Gotta play immediately. Bummer. I've been checking my cards. Uh, gun maintenance. No issues for that. Cool. Uh, what else? Uh, I've got a play immediately. Rags to riches. Everyone discards all NADA cards and draws a light number of cards from the deck. What? No, that sounds bad. No, Do that no Do you have any NADA cards? Uh, I have a NADA. Then you get to discard it and draw a new card and then discard down to six until six. Chris gets in. Jesus. All right. More uh, cards for you. Uh, should I discard down to four, then draw another one, then discard again? No, no, you're going down to six. So you're at six. Well, well, so well yeah, well, at least it's the two of us. Just go down to six. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, okay. So six is where I need to be. So now I need to draw a card. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Until Chris joins us. All right. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Boop. All right. Okay. I love the, uh, the briefings and stuff because it just sounds crazier and crazier. It does. It does. And, and unfortunately, the more we've found out about this multiverse that we're in, and the more we've encountered, the more weirder and crazier some of it is. Um, all right. So there's shall... a rumbling from a nearby chest. There's like a <laughs> very large chest, and it kind of twitches around a bit. Okay. It I shall grab like my fighting to get out of there. I shall go and open the chest. But the reason I came back here was to grab some A to get Colburn some gear and B to get some gear myself. You open the chest and you find Doc Fulton inside of the chest with what appears to be a 19th century style inflatable doll. I didn't even know if such exists, but anyway. It's made out of animal bladders, it looks like. Okay. And then it has a happy face painted on it. <laughs> Pause that for one second, Logan. Chris, how you doing, man? Uh-oh, can he not I'm hear not sure if he can hear us yet. Womp, womp. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you guys hear me? There yes, we go. We can hear you. Try again, TJ. Chris, how's it going, man? He just froze up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having a lot of luck tonight, aren't we? And Hello? Back. Say. Hello? Hello. Yeah? Hello? Hello? Froze again. God damn. The curse of the third player. And oh. it's DJ. And he's back again. He's moving. You and can, we can do hear, it. And we can hear you when you don't freeze up. I can, I can see you. I'm not sure when Chris will actually be able to hear this. Hmm. Yeah. It's like he has a weird delay that freezes every like four mm -hmm. or five seconds. And he's moving again. Can you hear me now? Uh, oh, yeah, I can hear you. And frozen. And frozen again. One word sentences. <laughs> So I've been able to scan here. He's moving. It's not freeze. No, no. There oh, we go. Oh, freeze it again. There. Yeah. That is really wild. So, Logan, about this three-player service you have running here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dude. This is the first time we've ever had this kind of horrible shit. I must admit, you you are a bit blurry, Logan, to me. Do you want me to? Oh, it could be also that I'm sitting in uh, semi darkness, but I can. Yeah, make... no, no, no. Every so often, you there's a like a, a minute freeze from you as well. He's moving again. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hey, there you go. Maybe he's in now. I don't know. I'm scared to talk to him because if I do, it'll just freeze up again. <laughs> Motherfucker. And hopefully have settled down. Hmm. Seems to be working better. Maybe his mm -hmm. computer's gotten used to him by now. Mm. Yes. You would think. You would hope. You would, indeed. Awesome. 
Uh, yeah, his computer wasn't expecting him to be able to play today, and so it was just going to fucking shut itself off and hibernate or, you know, download more whatever he downloads. It's up and running. That's what's important here. Mm -hmm. Now you can say hi to Chris if you want. Yeah, yeah, I think we got one in there. Long time, man. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. How about you guys? Good stuff. Good, good. Good stuff. Jesus, did you join like a, a triathlon thing for a while there? Because it definitely appears the Swamp House Chris has shrunk drastically. He has massively <laughs> shrunk. Massively. Wow, congrats. That's good stuff, man. Yeah. Actually, from the probably the last time you've seen me, I'm down 200 pounds. Wow. Jesus Christ. You lost the person. You lost the big person. Oh, man. Jesus, is that like water or a car accident? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was rough. It was rough. Jesus. Wow, kudos. That's, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. So uh, why don't you go ahead and bring him up to speed. Uh, um, yeah, the the inflatable uh, doll thing uh, appears to be filled with lighter than air gases. It's very slowly exiting the chest and floating up. Okay. Uh, God, I so the weirdest thing I've seen. We we are in the Australian Embassy base kin. Um, we've just been discreetly hired by the Baronet Godfrey Summers to find his missing son. Oh, clearly that's uh, the main bad guy. We need to kill them, right? No, oh, sorry. Arthur. No, no, no. This this guy is missing his son, Arthur. Um, oh. His son has been hanging out in the um, arcology, associating with undesirables. You know, people that fear theatre type people and actors and those sort of undesirables. Um. No, not like us. Just different kind, a different kind of undesirable. Okay. Different, yeah. No. Yes. Different kind of undesirable. Um, we've got a key to his apartment. There was he lives in a lodging house. Uh, four days ago, a ransom, a blackmail, blackmail letter was received, which I will show to you. A uh, guy dressed in what is supposed to be a butler's uniform, although he's not the regular butler, comes in. It's one of the uh, uh, guys from the, the MMO lands. He goes, excuse me, gentlemen, will you be having dinner? Yes. All right. Uh, in here? Sure. All right. Are we in the entryway? I look around. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're, you're in some room. The guy stops. He looks up at the ceiling at the... Uh, um, inflatable doll thing he looks at uh, doc fulton who's standing in a chest for some reason don't goes, judge me <laughs> <laughs> you oh uh, everybody reduce your hands down to oh uh tim reduce your hand down to four yeah we're done so but basically the ransom the note said you know had, had the key to the apartment they'd turn up to hobbs end station with a thousand gold coins um the lawyer turned up there with the money. Nobody approached him. That was three days ago. Um, we've got the address to the where the lodging house is in his apartment. We have two introductory, introductory letters from Clarence and Sons, the lawyers. Uh, we were given eight gold. We're getting 15 gold a day for this. Um, the lawyer believes that we will find pictures of Arthur in the apartment. Arthur takes after his father. That is, he's a leopard-headed individual. Um, there was some disturbance on the night, some disturbance at the lodging house on the night he went missing. Uh, the Lieutenant Bridger is handling the case from the guard. 